And finally tonight, three American professors will share the Nobel Peace, the Nobel Prize for Economics, not Peace. Uh, they are being recognized for their work on how the prices of stocks, bonds, and homes impact long-term investing. Steve Leisman takes a closer look at today's winners. Two University of Chicago economists and one from Yale sharing this year's Nobel Prize for Economics for their research into what determines a stock price's value. Trouble is, two of them have opposite views. Eugene Fama, dubbed the father of modern finance from the University of Chicago, believes investors behave rationally. He says all new information is immediately priced into a stock's value, and after the news comes out, it's folly to try and predict this movement. According to Fama, the best thing to do is to buy index funds and don't pay someone to pick stocks for you. They can't do it. That but Robert is, uh, Schiller, an American from Yale, says uh, markets can sometimes behave irrationally, I, I, driven by human psychology, and they go through significant periods of mispricings when high prices are followed by low prices and vice versa. Think of the soaring housing boom and now the long bust. I have a certain disbelief. Um, maybe it's because of a habit of thought that I tend to think of my own work as a minor addendum to a huge body of work that others have generated. The third winner, Swede Lars Peter Hansen, now of the University of Chicago, took Schiller's work a step further and found that mispricing from irrational behavior is because of changes in people's appetite for risk. So what's an investor to do? By giving the same prize to opposite theories, the Nobel Committee could be saying the state of modern financial theory is that both schools have some merit and need more study. Ultimately, they're awarding the groundbreaking research from these three that have withstood the test of time. But they forced investors to think about whether they're investing with FAMA, that is, buying index funds because they can't predict the future, or investing with Schiller, betting on a bubble or a bust, or thinking about Hansen, understanding people's changing risk appetite over time. The Nightly Business Report, I'm Steve Lee. Congratulations to the three of them. It's really interesting that they can't really predict the short-term direction of the stock market, but they can predict the long-term, and that's why index funds became, came into existence. I think they give you the best, most economical bang for your buck. Index funds. Yes, I think they do.